Hello, welcome back for lesson 6.2. <clears throat> we are still working with uh, rational exponents and roots. And in this section, we are um, multiplying and dividing. Well, it's really all multiplication. Yeah, a little bit of dividing of rational exponents. So means we're going to be adding some fractions. So we'll get some good practice of remembering those items too. So we're going to start with problems 1, 5, 9, and 13. I'm going to be starting with one and every other odd, which I've been doing. And we're going to, first thing we need to do here is distribute this x to the two thirds to the inside. So this becomes x to the two thirds times x to the one third plus x to the two thirds times x to the four thirds. And because they're like bases, these are both x's, we can add their exponents. So two thirds plus one third is three thirds, which is one, plus like bases over here. So we can also add their exponents. So it's two plus four. So that's six thirds, which is squared two. So we end up with x plus x squared. Okay, then problem number five, <clears throat> we're gonna do the same, except for we're distributing to three terms on the inside. So we have two, I'm gonna multiply these, two times three, so we have six X to the one third times X to the eight, thirds minus two times four is eight x to the one third times x to the five thirds plus two times five is 10 x to the one third times x to the two thirds. And then each of these we have like bases on the x times the x. So we can add their exponents. So one third and eight thirds is nine thirds, which is three, nine thirds is three. So this is six X to the third minus, and then again, we're gonna add the rational exponents. One third plus five thirds is six thirds. So that equals two. So this is eight X squared plus the next one, one third plus two thirds is three thirds, which equals one. So this is 10 X to the one. There we go. Now on nine and 13, we're using kind of our foil, our first get multiplied. So X to the two thirds times X to the two thirds are outsides. So this becomes plus two X to the two thirds. Our insides, negative four times X to the two thirds thirds and then our last so negative four times a positive two so these two like bases on x we're going to add the exponents so we have x to the four thirds and then we have two like terms in the middle because they have the same variable so a positive two and a negative four is a negative two x to the two thirds 
And then negative four times two is a minus eight. And you can leave these with the rational exponents, just like that. And hopefully you're kind of feeling a little bit more confident with adding fractions just because we're doing it so often now. So again, we're going to distribute. So our first become four times five is 20. And then y, so y to the one third times y to the one third, we're gonna add the exponents. Remember, one third and one third is two thirds. I'm gonna simplify this a little quicker. And then our outsides is gonna be four times two. So eight y to the one third. Our insides is a negative three times a five y to the one third. So a negative 15 y to the one third. And then our last would be a negative three times two is a negative six. So to simplify, we have our first term 20 y to the two thirds. And then our middle terms, eight y minus 15. So minus seven y to the one third minus six. Okay, so number 17, it says t to the one half plus five, the quantity squared, which actually means this squared means there's two of them. So it's two to the, t to the one half plus five times t to the one half plus five. A lot of times that's um, students think they can just take the square and then square each in the inside, but it's really not. It's a binomial. So we have to do our first, outsides, insides, and last. So our first are going to be t to the one half times t to the one half. It means we, let's just write it times t to the one half so you can see that. And then our outsides are going to be five times t to the one half. The insides are going to be another five times t to the one half. <laughs> and then our last are going to be five times five. So t to, we're going to add the x, the exponent. So one half plus one half is one. So that's just going to be t to the one t. Plus we have our like terms in the middle. So there's five plus five of them. So 10 t to the one half plus Five times five is 25. And you do not need the one on the, the exponent for t. Again, on 21, it's um, a to the one half minus b to the one half times itself. Again, you cannot just distribute the two as a squared. You have to actually write this as the binomial multiplied by itself. So our first are going to be a to the one half times a to the one half. Our outsides are going to be a to the one half times a negative b to the one half. And then the insides are going to be the same minus um, a. I'm just going to write the a first so you can see that they're like terms a to the one half, b to the one half. And then the last are negative times a negative. So that'll be a b to the one half times b to the one half. So a to the one half, so the one half plus one half makes a one. So that's a. And then we have these like terms. And remember this is a plus a times a negative. This is, so this is really a negative. So we have a negative a to the one half, b to the one half, and another negative a to the one half, b to the one half. So we really have negative two of those, a to the one half, b to the one half. 
plus if we add our our like bases here b to the one half times b to the one half we add our fractions of one half plus one half is one so that becomes b b to the one is just b <laughs> So 25 is similar. We're going to do our first are going to be a to the one half times a to the one half. Our outsides is going to be, I'm going to do the three first. So three to the one half times a to the one half. And then the insides, it's a negative three to the one half a to the one half. And then the last are going to be a negative times a positive. So a negative three to the one half, three to the one half. So our first multiplication here in the a times a, we add their exponents so that one half plus one half is one. So that's just a. And then we have like terms in the middle but they're positive and negative of each other. So they actually just cancel out. And then our last term is a negative. So subtracting and we add our exponents. So one half times uh, plus one half is one. So this is just three. So that becomes a minus three. So you can see that there are difference of squares or difference of, um, the same exponent, right? So they're going to just be, they're conjugate, so they're going to cancel the middle terms out. So let's look at number 20. It's going to work the same way because it's t to the one half, both of them. And then the second term is the same but opposite sign. So the middle terms are going to cancel. So we have t to the one half times t to the one half. And then our outsides are going to be plus two to the three halves times t to the one half. And then the insides are minus two to the three halves. Okay, sorry about that. So we have our first, our outsides, our insides, and our last is gonna be a negative and two to the three halves times two to the three halves. So the t's will be a one half plus one half, so it's a t. And then again, right here, we have their like terms, but they're opposite, so they're gonna add to zero. And then our last are gonna be a negative, and then the two, three halves plus three halves is gonna be six halves, which is, three. So this becomes t minus two to the third, which is really t minus eight. Next up is number 43. So we have, so, so that you can know how many things you're going to have multiplied together. We have two terms here, two terms, times this parentheses has one, two, three terms. So it's two terms times three terms. So we're going to have six products when we're done multiplying. So I'm going to distribute this x to the one third first. So it's going to be x to the one third times x to the two thirds. And then mm, minus then x to the one third times x to the one third times y to the one third plus x to the one third y to the two thirds. That's the first row, the first distribution. Then I'm going <clears> to <throat> distribute through and I'll do this, the second one in green so that you can see.
and that will be y to the one third times x to the two thirds minus, I'm gonna write the x first, so minus x to the one third y to the one third y to the one third. And then the last one will be plus y to the one third y to the two thirds. So we have to combine <clears throat> our common basis. So one third plus two thirds is going to be x to the three thirds, which is a one minus, now I can only combine my like basis. So this is going to be x to the two thirds y to the one third plus x to the one third y to the two thirds. And they're different exponents, so they're not like terms. <clears throat> plus the next one, I'm going to write the x first. So it's x to the two thirds y to the one third minus x to the one third. And then y, we're going to add the exponent. So that's to the two thirds plus the last one is y to the three thirds, which is a one. So let's simplify what we can. So this is going to be x to the one. That's just x. So we have a x to the two thirds, y to the one third. There's another one of those right here. <coughs> so this one's a negative and this one's a positive. So they add to zero. Then our next grouping is x to the one third, y to the two thirds. And we have another one of those over here. This one is positive, this one is negative. So those cancel out and we're left with plus y. So that simplifies just to x plus y. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is going to be simplifying divisions or simplifying fractions. <clears throat> now, you can cancel things out as long as they're in all three terms. So we have two terms in the numerator and one in the denominator, but it's actually probably easier if we split them apart and make this 18 x to the three fourths over nine x to the one fourth plus 27 x to the one fourth over nine x to the one fourth. And then we can, then we can simplify them separately. So nine goes into 18 two times. And then we have our um, exponent on the numerator subtracting the exponent on the denominator. So this is gonna be two and then x to the three fourths minus one fourth. That's simplifying this one. So three fourths minus one fourth is two fourths or we can say one half. So this is gonna be two to the x to the one half. That's what this simplifies to. And then this is 27 divided by nine essentially is three. So it's gonna be plus three. Let's simplify here. We have x to the one fourth over x to the one fourth. So those just cancel. So we're just left with three. Then um, this is going to be something similar on 45. We're going to break these apart. And just separately put them over 7a to the 2 fifths, b to the 3 fifths. And then we can simplify from there. So seven cancels into 21 three times. And then we're gonna take 
on our like bases of a, we're going to subtract our exponents. So it's a seven this minus two this. And then on the B, it's going to be the three fifths over three fifths. So let's just cancel out. So there's no B in that one now. Minus seven goes into 14 two times. And the eight of the two fifths over eight of the two fifths, those cancel, which is nice. And so the B is the eight fifths subtracting three this. So now we can simplify our rational exponents. So we have 3a. This becomes 7 minus 2 is 5 over 5, which is just 1. So that's 3a minus 2. And then um, the fractions, the exponents in b is 8 minus 3 is 5 over 5 as well is 1. So that's just 3a minus 2b. Okay. And that's all I have for lesson 6.2. So catch me back for some 6.3.